Hello, hello, welcome back everyone. It's peak summertime. Monsoons have started to unleash their beauty in abundance and people have finally begun to put their summer plans into action. And the terms schools and books and students just do not gel with this entire scenario. But having said that, we are witnessing a growing trend of summer schooling here in Pakistan, whether notwithstanding. And joining us this morning is model and Jimbury instructor Sibyl Chaudhary to explain this concept and more. Hello, good morning, how are you? Good morning, how are you? I'm good. Why schools in summer? Well, it's for working parents. Um, some children, you really don't have much to do here. Um, it's for working parents, it's extra tuition for schools, uh, for students who've fall, fallen behind mm. in classes. Um, it's not just studying constantly. Some, some schools have um, swimming and arts and those sort of things. So it's uh, basically uh, keeping the kids busy? Yes, keeping them busy. Okay, that's interesting. How long does this last for? You have different programs. Some do it from <coughs> June to July mm -hmm. and some will do it throughout summer. So do students, and I've often wondered because at least when I was in school there was, maybe there was this concept of summer schooling but I was not, you know, put into it mm -hmm. so I wouldn't know. Uh, but do kids get a sense that they are going back to school or there is, you know, some entertainment? I'm sure after well. a certain age children do start feeling like I don't want to go to summer school because yeah. it's summer, I need my break and I need to enjoy and have fun. So there's a, I think there's an age limit to where you can put your child into summer school. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. And what about the teachers? Which I mean, if the <coughs> students are there, then the teachers have to be then there. The teachers as well. are there as well. It's yeah. is it like uh, you know, like in school, you have the different classes and everything mm -hmm. is divided. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Um, generally, you would divide up a summer school with um, by ages. Okay. So you have the same age children in one group as well as the other group. So it's not like class-wise, it is age-wise. Age so you would have a lot of children. Tell us about Jimbury. How does that work? And I know that it's mm -hmm. still open or it doesn't close at all, does it? No, we are seven days a week um, throughout the year. <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah, we have a summer program going on at the moment. Um, we are from 2.5 to 5 years, Okay. which is our summer program. Hmm. In that, we're doing um, arts, we're doing sports, we have a school readiness program, and then we have a free play gym. Of what readiness? School readiness. What does that mean? It's basically for internationally children start school at about age five okay whereas here we start about age three hmm. so the school readiness basically is starting to teach the children to sit down listen to the teacher listen to instructions work with peers it are already builds their communication and their confidence for when they actually do go to school so they know what they're so kind of getting into. It's kind of a preschool it's kind of like a preschool okay not, not bad but it's all. only about an hour it's okay. an hour class every so, day. So uh, when you say <coughs> that summer school can also be, or rather is also veiled by, uh, you know, parents who mm -hmm. are working, so they send their children. So what timings would that be? It's the entire day in school? Some schools do have it an entire day, whereas we at Jimbury, we are from only from 9 to 1 o'clock. Okay. Because we cater to the younger children. We don't go past five years. Mm, so they have to be picked up. So they have to be Now tell us, now, this is interesting and I was at the Jimbury, uh, you know, website yesterday mm -hmm. and uh, learning through play and music and all yeah. that. How does that work out? And obviously I can understand that you don't have to, it's just below five-year-old children yeah. anyway, but what exactly do they learn there? What we are doing, most of our programs from zero to three are with parents. So a lot of our classes, the parents have to come with the children. And in that, we basically build the bond between the parent and the child. The, we grow on the confidence of the child and as well as um, the imagination. We're working on the pretend play. So we do a lot of very silly things that most people won't actually come and do. And most parents are very hesitant to do. Hmm. But once they start attending classes, they get comfortable as well. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of get down on the floor on your all fours and play with your child. Hmm. So it's the one-on-one -on -one time, 45 minutes that most parents, even if they're working or not, cannot have with their child. But, uh, now you can correct me obviously mm -hmm. since you are uh, there and you know by experience. I would think that preschool would also mean the children uh, would like or learn to be away from their parents uh, as well, you know. Yes. So that the dependency doesn't come in and that is the idea for them to then, when they start going to school, yes. parents are nowhere. At Jimbury we do have um, drop-off programs that start from the age of three to five. That is when you can drop your child off and then leave. But those are also only one hour classes. 
Jimbury's philosophy is basically we are um, we're working on the creativity, the confidence, and friendship of the child, hmm. getting them to socialize with other children. Um, parents then socialize with other children, okay. with other parents hmm, as well. Hmm. So it's a basically we treat everybody there as a whole, and as well as individuals. So everybody is also getting to know one another. Exactly. Interesting. Um, TNS has the same sort of um, learning method, mm -hmm. although they are project based, but it is also hands on. TNS would be the new school. TNS would be the new school, exactly. Okay. So it's the same learning method as the Reggio system, um, it's all project based, whereas Jimbury is more back down to hands on and do it yourself instead mm -hmm. of having the parent make it for you and give it to you. But I can imagine that then one has to be very imaginative for something like that because when you have books and you have a curriculum and you know exactly yes. what to do, you would do it. Yeah. But when you have to make up something, I mean, well, I mean, we for us, the teachers and the trainers, it's um, easier because we get everything from Jimbury Corporation, okay. which is then international. So everything is given to us. So basically, we take that and implement it in our mm -hmm. classes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now, uh, Sybil, you are a teacher trainer. Mm -hmm. uh, is there some special kind of training involved for these teachers who for, work here? Yes. Um, me and my director, Sophia Kasuri, we went to San Francisco and we had our training done there by the corporation. And we have gone, um, say, to Dubai, we've gone for extra training as well. Mm. So we've come back and we've trained our teachers. And we've trained them the exact same way that we were trained from San Francisco. Um, we've given them a very hard, tough time. A few of them were in tears and hmm. complaining about it. Okay. Well. Give us an because example we of what, what would be different. I mean, uh, what <clears throat> would you uh, train them with that you know that they would not know without training? It's how to ask open-ended questions to children. Um, how to communicate with a child. A lot of adults, if you don't have your own child, do not know how to communicate with a child. Hmm. They treat a child like they're a child. Oh, he's only three years old, and this is in our culture a lot. He's only three years old, doesn't know much. Mm -hmm. Whereas a three-year-old, their brain is working 90%. So they know actually more than you do at that moment. Exactly, and they're very receptive. They pick exactly. up a lot. Exactly. Mm. So it's those sort of things. And it does have to, um, our training is a lot hands-on as well, where we ask uh, our friends, we ask our members from Jimboree to bring in their children, and we, our trainees, we would bring them into a classroom and they get a lot of hands-on training as well with wow. other children. Okay, interesting. Then you mm -hmm. would also be able to, I, I don't know, I feel that you would also be able to pick the traits of children who are more, uh, yes. you know, really into music yes. or really inquisitive. Once you are with children for, um, I mean, you see them every day for 45 minutes or an hour or every week for an hour, you see the progressive, um, you see the development change in them mm. as well from when they're coming from when they first started coming to the twelfth week of when they came. Hmm. So it's a, you do see a, quite a difference. Sibyl, now uh, your training you say has, you went to San Francisco mm -hmm. and you had training there. Now is it true that in the US it is almost illegal or something to put a child in school before uh, the age of five? Yes. So, but wouldn't that really go against the training that we, you know, uh, have children at such an early age in schools? Are they it's, a, or? it's a pressure, I would think. Um, I don't know exactly the reason why they, it is illegal in the States, but what I would believe, it's too much pressure for a three-year-old to go to school. Hmm. Um, till the age of five, you do need to be at home. I mean, yes, go to daycares or go to extra play groups or things hmm. like that to do stimulate the child. But to drop them off and make them ex expect them to learn their ABCs and one, two, threes, Mm. at age three and then come home and do homework like we wow, have here for course. a three-year-old. Right. That's just too much because if you expect the child to go all the way to O's and A levels or in the American school to 12th grade, mm. how do you expect the child to study all that way if they started at age three? Exactly. They'll burn out in between and then won't want to study. So it's... Hmm. It's, it's kind it, of, it, you, there's it, a lot of pros and cons about both And I'm both. sure a lot of research has been done on it, yes, so that yes. is how it is proven. Yes. But then burning out, the same uh, you know, term that you have used, mm -hmm. again, coming back to summer schooling and all, I am sorry, but I would <laughs> definitely need a break if I was studying or doing anything. You have to. And in the summertime, uh, it's a given, you, you, even if you do well, not. Say, a lot of summer schools aren't always forced towards educational. They're not 
really show, teaching you that you have to sit down with your books and papers and do whatever's written in the textbook. Mm. Summer school is about fun. Our summer school is about learning through fun. So while you're painting and while you're, you know, playing in the sand and things, you're still learning something mm -hmm. by the materials you're using and the theme you're basing it around or anything. You're still constantly learning, even as adults. Mm -hmm. Doing anything, you're learning something. So children as well, even in a summer oh. school. True, true. And also, uh, you know, there are different kinds of summer camps and mm -hmm. schools and everything. Uh, some, I don't know about Jimbury, but some are really exclusive and, but also very expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, what different things do they provide? What do they do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you I don't like, know what they would provide for uh, that much money. Um, Jimbury, we are quite reasonable. We've also given different packages of one month, two months and three months. Mm. Um, of course, June is now finished, but we have July and August that we're still open for people to come. I would think it's quite reasonable because we've also, um, you know, this is just for summer. We want some, mm. some place for children to come and have fun. We don't want to send our children to go and study during oh, the summer. That's true. We want them to have fun. Okay, interesting. Okay, now we are, I'm going to tell our viewers that we are going to put up the Jimbury, uh, you know, website and everything on our Facebook page and you can read great. up and if you are actually, you know, it's a great idea mm -hmm. if you're not really going anywhere, you have young children, even if you're not a working, uh, you know, mom or exactly. uh, you can still put them there Definitely. and they can have their vacation with like-minded children yeah. and great teachers <laughs> too as well. Thank you very much Sibyl, Thank you. for coming here Thank and you. Uh, it's, uh, you need a lot of patience to work with children, don't yes. you? But you have your own, so. Yes, I have my own, so I have my, my patience is quite up there yeah. already. <laughs> uh, you know how it is. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot for coming Thank here. Thank you. We are going to take a very short break.